this was the trip of a lifetime. It was my pleasure and delight to be able to lead a group of students and also some of my colleagues to New Zealand over the January break. This is part of a capstone experience that our department does every other year, where we take junior and senior majors out to look at real life geology. These trips really do hit upon one of our big goals for our students is to get them out in the field and touching rocks. We want them to become official geologists doing the work geologists do. That's the science part, but there's more than that. I want students to be comfortable meeting and mingling with the world around them. And we want them to sort of feel the sense of independence that they might have when they're in a place that they've never been before. And the geology and the people that you meet when you're abroad or far away from campus is part of the learning experience. I was fortunate enough to go on the departmental trip to New Zealand. It was the first time that I had left the country and got a stamp in my passport. And the first moment that we got there, I had this new fire and excitement, and this trip gave me the opportunity to discover that this wasn't just going to be field-based research, this was bigger than that. This was letting me see the world and letting me know that I am strong enough and capable enough to travel the world. So you think about this trip and what it does for students, and in a sense, it gives so many of them access to excellence that they may not have ever experienced in themselves. And so watching their eyes light up when they get something, or something's clicked for them that they've read in a book and now they see it in living color, it's why we love these trips and why we will do them for as long as we are around. Being in a foreign place where I'm not familiar with the location or, or even the culture, has really pushed me to the edge or even sometimes outside of my comfort zone. And I'm a firm believer that you are growing into a better person when you're at the edge or outside of your comfort zone. And this trip was really, really cool because it allowed me to go to a foreign place and practice the things that I've learned in the classroom in a real world way. And I've experienced a lot of growth because of that. To say it was an amazing experience is an understatement. It was, it was an absolutely unbelievable time and it confirmed a lot of what I thought that I wanted to do after graduating because I knew that I wanted to be out in the field and I was pretty certain I wanted to study volcanoes but after like being at White Island and the Tongariro Crossing I knew for sure that that was what I wanted to do. This trip is again as a capstone experience for our department. And because of that, we really never, ever want a student to say, I can't go because I can't pay. And it's because of gifts from the Hathaway Fund that really helped students who financially couldn't have done this. And it's for that reason that we really thank all of our donors. One of the things that, that happened, uh, unbeknownst to me, sort of behind my back, was that for my retirement gift, uh, I was presented with a Hathaway Scholarship Fund that was established. And one of the things we wanted to be able to use that for uh, was for things that the state would not support. And in a sense, it's a, a joy to make students financially secure. Somewhere starting in uh, mid-January, we started getting some postcards from New Zealand. And one of them said, I'm writing to give my sincerest gratitudes for your generous aid in my trip to New Zealand. Every day is serving as a new, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity it is truly making me realize I'm in the field of study meant for me. I would not have been able to afford this opportunity without your help, and your act of generosity did not go unnoticed. Yeah, it made me feel pretty good. <laughs> I'd like to be able to give the same opportunity to somebody else who is in my position and give them the chance to take part in something that would, you know, have the potential to like, change their lives or their career paths in the best way. We have a really, really tight-knit department because we do trips like this. And I'm fortunate to have been able to go to somewhere as beautiful as New Zealand with them. And I think the bond that we developed is so strong and something that each and every one of us will hold on to for life just due to that really raw connection and, and deep friendship that we developed. Mm -hmm. And I think that we are going to carry with us these memories and be able to talk about these memories years and years down the path.